delighted to have your company here on 2K Sports for our PGA Tour action. We're at the Green Hill Classic. Today's coverage is about to begin. I'm Luke Elvey alongside PGA champion Rich Beam. We're in the booth and down on the course is John McCarthy. Thanks, Luke. Hello to you and Rich. Hello to the folks at home. Glad to be here at the Pearl Mountain Golf Club. And look, this course looks like something out of your neck of the woods. Stunning mountain vistas off of every tee. Oh, my goodness. It's a postcard everywhere you look. I think we're going to have some fun here today, ladies and gentlemen. Yep, that shot safely on the green. That's pretty fancy. Nice start. Absolutely. You love to see those going in early. It sets the tone for the rest of the day. And let's have one more look at that shot. Well, that's a lovely way to get going. They've already started this event under par. Making birdie in the first always puts you in a good frame of mood. It'll be fun to watch the round progress. Now this one looks to be heading down the runway. Rich, what kind of mojo do you think this player's got after winning in their last start? This player has more confidence, I believe, than any other player in the field at the moment. This should be another good week for him. Well, that's showcasing their power there, Rich. Always like the aggressive play, going for it in two and getting rewarded for it. Mm, putting for a birdie. A birdie with big wings. He holds it. What a putt. Oh, I'd like to have one more look at that shot. And now at three under overall. You've arrived at a par four. Coming off an eagle at the last. Momentum on their side for this player. <laughs> Nicely done. Time for the second shot into the third. Chosen the pitching wedge here. This looks to be heading to the green. That's an absolute ripper. What a shot. Here's what Bryson DeChambeau managed just a short time ago. got to say his short game is one of the best in the game let's return to live play now always love these opportunities especially when it's for birdie this one's tracking and that's for birdie well hold got to say putting this well from this distance is a huge confidence booster well good move there Anything, anything north on the leaderboard is always pleasant. The play so far has been stellar, increasing the lead, Luke. But can they maintain it? 
Let's find out. Opting for the three wood. Well, that's well played and a great birdie opportunity coming up here at the four. Almost a gimme birdie there, Luke. Fantastic. Get excited. This could go in. A wonderful putt. You can claim it. Back to back birdies. And that will take him to five under. Our leader is a couple of shots up at this stage. Always positive coming off a birdie. Let's see what happens here. That one's heading down Broadway. Well, Luke, you're right. He did find grass, but it's not the closely mown grass. And now we go to the six where this happened just a moment ago. Ian Poulter here. Lining up for his third now. Setting up in the first cut. for the five wood left yourself an opportunity this part to get to seven under the card Always good to cozy it up to the hole on a long putt, isn't it? Well, you're going to be hard to catch now if you keep making putts like that. That sets a positive tone for the player, doesn't it? Leading by three strokes now. Time to tee off at the sixth. Oh, absolutely flushed. Coming off a hat trick of birdies. That's great momentum. No harm, no foul there with that shot. Steps up to a punt of about 15 feet in distance. And racking up their fifth birdie of the day. And with that, he'll move to seven under. Incredible. And this effort by Justin Thomas. Absolute beauty here. And after that hole, this is how the leaderboard looks. Our leader is currently enjoying a four stroke advantage. Deep into the front nine, here we are at the seventh hole. Do you attack it and try and increase your lead, or do you lay back and play safe? I like to attack it. What do they like to do? Looks like they put a good swing on that one. That should find the short stuff. Let's have a look at this highlight. Always enjoy watching Ian pull to play well. Here's a great shot. 
I got to say, this is a 10 on the scale. Four victories so far this season. Opting for the 9-9. Nine -nine. They're not a bad shot, that one. Oh, this will be a bonus. Right on 17 feet from here. Oh, is that a good line? And this puck coming up for his par. Well done. And after that hole, leading Patrick Cantlay now by three strokes. Ooh, we're at the par three here. I love these holes. Going with the nine iron, I think. Well, got some sort of streak going on here. Green's in regulation. What a statistic. The iron play today has been absolutely stellar. Luke, the greens in regulation, just a fantastic accomplishment. Great to watch. And that putt will give them birdie number six on the day. And that will take him to eight under. And this is quality play, still on top of the leaderboard. Here we are at the final hole on the front nine. Well, I'm sure it looked better in their mind before they hit it. This shot from the first cut of rough. What an opportunity to make a birdie. Dee's making this look easy. Keeps surging ahead. Two in a row there, Luke. Getting their groove on. And now that finds him in first place. And coming off the birdie, they'll be proud of themselves, a chance to keep it rolling. That's some good golf right there. Playing this shot from about 210 yards out. Wind is blowing from right to left here. Wants to work it against the wind. Well, that's big boy golf right there. Using the big boy muscles to get it home in two there. Sitting at one under. And this effort by Justin Thomas. Oh, how good was that? That was sensational, Luke. Okay, let's get back to the action. Well, this is a long way from downtown, but you're closer. John, what's he got in front of him? Well, this next putt coming up around 30 feet to the hole. Big wings. Great putt. Why not take another look at that effort?
And still in top spot after that hole. Keep it going. And coming off the Eagle, feeling quite proud of themselves. A big chance here at the next. And the effort, that one, this putt is from 14 feet. Short game has been especially sharp today, Luke. Very impressive. Well, what a performance. Eight birdies on the card. Managing to maintain their position on the leaderboard. It's time to begin this powerful hole. That should find the cut stuff. Second shot here on the 12th. Looks to have opted for the eight iron. Yeah, well played. Slim chance for a birdie, but in all reality, two putt for par would be just fine. Oh, what a shame. That would have been a nice one to hold. Pretty straightforward four-footer coming up here. Oh, that looks like a pure stroke. Let's head over to the 13th. And after that effort, this is how the field is shaping up. Our current leader is up by a whopping seven shots now. Teeing off here on the 13th hole. Standing on this par four and leading. What's the strategy? What's going on through their mind? Attack it or lay back? That dog will hunt. Let's recap Ian Poulter's effort from earlier today. This is his third. Time for the second shot here at the 13th. for birdie job done let's head to the next leading by a whopping seven shots after that one it's time to tee off here at the 14th hole
choosing the nine iron here. This would be a great up and down from this spot. Wow, that almost went in the hole. This putt about 11 feet in distance. This one's online. And in it goes for the par. Sitting at minus 13 for the round. Teeing off here at the 15th hole. Your beauty. Second shot here on the 15th. Seems to have chosen the three wood. Well, that's a tremendous shot and sets up a wonderful opportunity. Using all of his muscles to get that one home in two. Make sure you get both the line and the speed right here. It's a long part. Steady on. And it's just about three feet away. Always nice to hold those for a birdie. Yeah, nice to have that cushion heading down the last few holes. And this effort by Justin Thomas. Time for the fifth shot. How close was that to going in the hole? Great shot. Our current leader is stroke advantage three holes remaining this is what it's all about time to see who is going to get it done i'm pretty sure this player will be buoyed by that birdie back at the last let's see if they can deliver another one this hole is so important at this critical time go for it lay it back how much do you trust your swing Fantastic. What a shot from the leader. Well, with a pocket full of FedEx Cup points over the last half a dozen starts or so, this player certainly has been delivering consistent results and pushing for wins or winning, Rich. Do you expect that to continue here this week? It's never a surprise when you speak this player's name. They've been so good all year long. They've got to be one of the favorites, not only for this tournament, but for also for the season-long FedEx Cup. Okay, let's head to the next. sits in first position two holes to go luke can they hang on let's find out 
Let's see what happens here at the 17th. And after a par at the last, a chance to perhaps signal some intent. Looks like they've got the five wood. Oh, that's outstanding. Another great shot by our leader. Never seen a scorecard that doesn't look good with a two on it. Looking really good, this one. That wasn't your best effort, was it? Well, this would be a good one to make. It's for par. And down she goes. And staying right where they were in today's rankings after that. And I don't give the rest of the field much hope today. Our leader is way out in front in this final round. Well, this is when the adrenaline really starts to kick in. Leading the tournament with the final hole to play. Good luck. That's heading for the fairway. Playing from around 240 yards. Straight down win. Tough to put a lot of spin on it and hold the green. Uh, it's a brave one. Driver off the deck. And here we are with the third shot. Well, that's right out of the top drawer. A great shot from our leader. All right, let's keep the focus here. This is to win the event. Ooh, nice looking putt. Well, how about that? They get the victory, and in fine fashion too. Absolutely, all tournament long, they just played outstanding golf. Hats off to them. And it's time to recap that play. And Rich, what a performance. They've got back-to-back -back wins. What a force they're proving to be out here on tour. I got to say, this player is in full flight at the moment. Just sit back and watch how awesome they are at the moment. Well, that'll just about do it. On behalf of Rich Beam, I'm Luke Elving. Thanks for tuning in. Look forward to your company next time.
it's a pleasure to bring you our PGA Tour action live on 2K Sports. Today's coverage of the Juno Cup is about to begin. I'm Luke Elvey alongside Rich Beam in the booth. And down on the course, it's hello to John McCarthy. Hello, Luke. Glad to be here at Copper Dunes. I'll tell you, one thing I've noticed here at Copper Dunes is, is basically a giant waste bunker with some beautiful holes strewn throughout it. And it's, uh, it can be quite intimidating, but uh, I'm very interested to see how the players deal with this property today. Not bad. This one's for Birdie. Oh, that's frustrating. Par putt coming up here. In she goes. Let's head to the next. He finds himself in a share of 11th. This hole here is a par four. Yeah, this lies pretty deep here. Opting for the five iron. Well, that'll work up on the dance floor. Could have been worse. Slim chance here for birdie, but you never know. quite hit it did you can't believe he did that that drives you bonkers as a player yeah well hold let's move on to the next and let's take a look at this shot from just a moment ago he's a sharp change isn't he Let's take a look at the leaderboard. Let's see what happens here at the third hole. Going with the five wood. It's fair to say that wasn't their best shot. And missing it long with that approach, not a good leave. <laughs> Came close on that one. Well played. Seven feet to the cup. on a good line well that's a momentum maintainer well done
So no movement there. He stays at even with the card. Not much happening. Moving down the leaderboard, never a good sign. The tee is yours. Here we are at the fourth hole. Well, this should find the short grass. Lining up from about 230 yards here. Just three back from the leader. Interesting choice of the driver here. Well, this person displays the power game in pure fashion there. Two big hits there, knocking it on this par five and two. John, give us a small update. Down on the fifth hole now as Justin Thomas gets ready for his next shot. Setting up miles from the hole. Just remember to get that nice rhythm in your stroke. You want to move into the top 10 on the leaderboard? Well, let's hold this putt. Gee, that had a chance, didn't it? The only good thing about three putting for par is you don't drop a shot. Now three strokes back after that hole. Here we find ourselves on the tee of a long par four. That's tidy. Playing this shot from about 230 yards out. They need to flight this one down into the wind. Uh, it's a brave one. Driver off the deck. That's well played. Anything on the green from there was fine. Well, it's time to head back down to the fairways. John, what's up, mate? Well, I'm down on the eighth, and this is Kisner's next shot. Whew. And back to the course with the live action. Well, Rich, from where I'm sitting, this looks makeable. Do you agree? Luke, I, I just don't see this happening. I tell you, I'd love to see this player prove me wrong, though. Opportunity to make their par. Well hold. Let's move on. So, no movement on the leaderboard there, remaining at even overall. Here we are at the sixth hole. Yeah, good swing. This one's heading up onto the green for sure. Luke, unfortunately, that got a horrible kick. Ended up in the rough. Getting ready to play their third. Four shots behind our leader. Putting for bogey.
Oh, gee, that line was looking good, wasn't it? And this one will be for double bogey. And with that hole behind us, let's have a look at the contenders and the pretenders. Sitting at two over for the day. Welcome to this hole. That's a par four. That double bogey on the last hole, well, it's going to leave a mark. There's no doubt about it. That looks to be a fairway finder to me. Luke, that did not end up where you said it was going to. It's in the rough. Oh, almost went in. Your nine foot chance here. It's got a chance. A well hold. He'll take the birdie. John, give us an update. What's shaking? I'm on the eighth hole here, guys. This is Sergio Garcia's next shot. This is their fifth shot. So after that hole, this is the current standings on the course. The leader now has a one-stroke advantage. Just a couple to play here on the opening nine. Here's the tee shot at the eighth. That was absolutely murdered. Playing this shot from about 180 yards. Straight down wind. Tough to put a lot of spin on it and hold the green. going with the hybrid anywhere up on that dance floor would be nice and here we are with the third shot five strokes behind our leader didn't that look good for a long time this would be a good putt to make it'll move you inside the top 20 on the leaderboard oh just missed Four feet to the cup. Yeah, we'll take that. And just keeping it in neutral on the leaderboard. Here we find ourselves on the tee of a par four. Oh, well played. John, what's going on out there? Well, I'm following Kevin Kisner at the moment. He's on number 12. Rich, they say you need to have at least one weapon to be a success on tour. But for me, Kevin Kisner has two. Yes, he's a great player, but my God, he's a feisty competitor. That, I think, is his greatest asset by a long shot. We got a first taste of it a few years back in the playoff loss at the Players' Championship. And going forward, he is week in and week out a force to be reckoned with. He gets any kind of taste of the lead, sniffs the lead. He's not going anywhere. He wants that bad. And he's not going to he's not going to make it easy on you. He's not going to make bogeys. He'll par you to death. He will absolutely make you as uncomfortable as he possibly can. He's not long. He's not tall. He's not intimidating. But I got to say, when you look in his eyes, you know that guy is the real deal. Now six strokes back after that hole. We have a par four on this one.
Well, I like the look of the line here. This should find the fairway. From around 180 yards out. Pretty good win back into the player's face. Looks to be going with a hybrid here. Not a bad approach. Grab the putter from the caddy. You're dancing. Outside chance here for the birdie. Okay, steady now. Just three feet to the cup. Solid par putt, that. Sitting at one over for the event. This hole's a tough two-shotter. A long par four. That should find the fairway. Let's go to our man, John, on the ground. There's something brewing down there. Let's find out what it is. Well, I'm down on hole number 14. This is Kevin Kisner's next shot. Oh, my. And this shot from about 150 yards out. Wind is blowing left to right. Going to try and hold it against the wind. Opting for the 9-iron. Wonderfully played. Be nice to see this one go down. Let's see if they make it. Ooh, right by the hole. It's just about three feet away. You don't want to miss these. That's well hold. Currently at plus one for the tournament. Time to make a move. The tee is yours here at the 12th hole. Going with the seven. Woo, back there, horsey. Didn't quite strike that as cleanly as they would have hoped. Oh, look at that. The wind just wreaking havoc with that shot. Disappointing. Oh, wouldn't that have been nice? Oh, a lovely opportunity to save par here. If it's up, it could be in. Nicely hold, and for par. Time to find out what's happening at the 13th hole. This would be a momentum saver here, getting this up and down. So after that hole, this is what the leaderboard looks like. arrived at a par four. Step up to the tee and own it. Good looking shot this.
Here's some action from just a short time ago. This is how you do it seven days a week. Let's return to live play now. Known as El Nino, he can be a firebrand, our Sergio Garcia, Rich. But gee, it's exciting to watch when he's on. He's been so good for so long, Luke, that I never tire of watching him play the game. I think he plays it with a passion, unlike most players in the game right now. Sometimes that's a good thing, sometimes it's a bad thing. But overall, his body of work throughout his career has been simply amazing. Ooh, good look at a birdie here. Ooh. Three feet to go here to the hole. Well hold. Trailing by five shots after that hole. Welcome to this hole. It's a par five. Oh, well struck. This drive's heading for the fairway in my eyes. Playing from around 210 yards here. Five shots off the pace. Opting for the five wood. He's got this thing dialed in here. Looking good. Well, at least it's on the green. That's the positive. Might well, it be nice to make this one. This one's for Eagle. Not sure how that putt came up shy. 13 feet to the cup. on a great line that was a gallant attempt and with that you can go and put a par on the card two great shots but three bad putts no movement up or down on the leaderboard for this player and we've arrived at a par three That might be one club too many. You liked that, didn't you? And our intrepid on course reporter, John, standing by. I'm down on the 16th hole as Justin Thomas gets ready for his next shot. And this putt is for a big two on the scorecard. And down she goes, the long-range bomb. And it's worth taking another look at that one. And unfortunately, dropping back to level with the card. Always like to see your name moving up the leaderboard, never a bad thing. And after a birdie at the last, we'll take the honor on the hole. Oh, good drive. That one should find the fairway. Time for the second shot at the 16th. Come on, look after us. Little bounce to the right here. Yeah, not a bad effort, that one. Up onto the green and a chance to hold your putt. He's already had a few birdies today. This for another.
He was on a good line. Putting for par. And the putt drops, and we're moving on. Our current leader is enjoying a one-shot lead. Just a couple to go. Let's see how you handle the penultimate hole. This looks to be a fairway seeker to me. Luke, unfortunately, that got a horrible kick. Ended up in the rough. Not a bad shot, that. Still a chance. There's a long way, but I tell you what, I've seen it happen before, so there's a chance. That's a good putt to hold any day of the week. And that will take him to one under. And let's have another look at that one. John, talk to us. What do you got for us? I'm over on the final hole, and Sergio Garcia sets up his next shot. So with another hole behind us, let's take a look at the leaderboard. The leader now has a one-stroke advantage. Well, it's come down to this, the final hole. Welcome to the 18th. This one looks to be heading down the runway. Interesting choice of the driver here. Oh, they're dialed in. It's an absolute clinic. Always like the aggressive play, going for it in two and get rewarded for it. Lining up the birdie putt here. And that will do it. His work is done here. Top ten, Rich, not to be sneezed at. No, top tens are always good. Top tens are always good, Luke. It gives you some confidence going into the next tournament. I'm Luke Elvey, alongside Rich Beam. And on behalf of all the hardworking folks at HB Studios, it's goodbye for now.